G'day, Tim and Dave from Springvale here again. We want to talk about the 2010 Sparkling. We're in one of the blocks that we take the fruit for that wine, um, being 87% Chardonnay, 6% Pinot Noir, 7% Pinot Meunier. Um, and being majority Chardonnay, it's quite a fruity little number, Dave. Yes, it's nice and dry. Um, <clears throat> been on Lees for uh, two and a bit years. It was disgorged in uh, December 2012, so that'd be yeah, almost two and a half years. Um, Chard dominant, so it's it's got lots of that uh, lemony sort of citrus kind of flavour, um, but it is quite dry. I think we only ended up at uh, seven grams. Yes, per yeah, six or seven, and it was yeah, nice and savoury. Seven grams residual sugar, so it sounds like a lot, but when you when the acid's really high, uh, it's really pretty dry yeah, wine. Yeah. Um, and it's got a lot of that that real savoury biscuity character going yeah, on from the yeah. from the yeast contact as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, so really, it's it's your classic uh, aperitif style of sparkling. Yeah. Nice lemon zest, savoury. Yeah. yeah um, and these wines, uh, although they're they're more or less ready to drink straight away, they they do sit under cork happily for for quite a long time. So, um, but they're not. We, I don't really know how they age because we just drink it all the time. They seem to go very quickly. It's um, one of those wines that never hangs around long at all. Yeah. Um, so it's always a good thing. The uh, the 2010 Sparkling uh, will be launched just in time for Christmas 2012, and then I imagine it'll only last for 12 months. I'm not sure. I think so. And, um, yeah, we'll be on to the 11 before be, you know it. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I'll do a, a nerds page for this wine uh, to give you too much technical info because there really isn't much to tell. Um, Simply elegant at this, I think, and you don't really have to say much more. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, we've given the varieties 87, 7 and 6. Um, maybe the Meunier was planted in 2000. This is The Chardonnay is mostly our sparkling clones yeah. with the bigger bunches. Meunier just add a bit more complexity. It usually adds a slight a bit of age character. Well, it seems on. it seems to uh, historically Meunier is used to to let you get away with less lees time. Yep. Um, and uh, whether it does that or not, I don't know because ours has you usually has at least a couple of years on lees anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, anyway, 2010 sparkling, nice and dry, good oyster wine. Get into it. <laughs>